I'm coming on in, y'all. I'm coming on in. I had to work my way up into this thing today. Hey. Ooh, what's up? Let me stretch you out. Sure. What's happening, Boogie Behind? What's up? I got another good day for y'all to enjoy. If you're going to enjoy it, come on and enjoy it. That's all I'm going to tell you to do. That's it, Shawana Shanks. What's happening, baby girl? What's happening, Lakeisha La Renee? I think your name Lakeisha Renee. I keep calling you Lakeisha Renee because you got it spelt like that. But anyway, Shawana Shanks, what's happening? Joe Setter, what's up? Danielle with the D from the UK. I appreciate you. LaWanda Woods, Griffin, always double dipping. What's happening, baby? My boogets are here for the Let Me Stress You Out show again for the 150th time. Or 200th time. What's cracking, Erica Spencer? Yeah, Erica, where you at, Erica? Oh, Erica, I'll need me old Erica in here. Oh, Erica, you know I need you in here, baby. I like, I, hey, listen, I always fuck with being a nice little Erica now. Them nice little hot cat Erica's, oh, nice, nice, when she love you, I'm telling you. Well, it's crazy. Angela, you ain't got to believe me, but trust me, I done been with a lot of Ruby Blue. What's happening with you? I see you, Ruby Blue. What's happening to Talisha Red? Talisha, you know what? Talisha, hold up for a second, Talisha. Stay here for a minute. Let me do something first, and I'm going to come back to your name. I'm going to come back to your name in a minute, Talisha. Vice President, remind me about Tal Talisha if I don't get to nobody else first. What's happening, Carol? Carol Bennett. Carol Bennett, what's happening? What you up in there doing? Yeah, I know you up in there chilling. You ready for the Let Me Show Show? show? You ready to talk to me for about one quick little hour from the UK and talk to Tamisha and talk to Shamarag B and Joe Abuku from Nigeria and Sandalio Rosa Jr., my partners. I got Boogie Bros in here now. It's some of the... To, hey, listen, the dudes who fuck with me, the little dudes that come here to fuck with me every day, these is upstanding brothers of substance and what you call great ding o -ling. The ding -a should be in a statue. The nigga is great, though. But the ding -a should be in a monument. It's monumentous ding -a in here. That's the only type of niggas I attract around me. Niggas who fucking they lit into the utmost of their ability and they got their career together and they getting their little change together and they getting that little weight under control and they on CMOS and they slinging dick before you could call it dick. They slinging ding o ling, young ladies and gentlemen. I promise you, there's some niggas in here with it. I like to call it the Green Apple Jolly Rancher Stick Dick. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I have, and that's the type of dudes that come here, so y'all know if you're in these comments, you're amongst greatness. Yes, indeed, Maria Davis. Let me see what Erica Spencer, Santana Rosa. Yeah, Erica. Wait, wait, what's going on with them two? I done missed something. Lake Sharon ain't said, oh, I'm saying it right? Okay, it is Lake Sharon ain't in. All right, Lake Sharon ain't. Maria Davis from Pittsburgh, 47D. What's happening, Yolanda? Zolanda Bush. Zolanda Bush. What's happening with you? Yes, indeed. Let me see something. Let me see. Joe, Joe Buku said, here comes that pump and boogie B soundtrack. You already know I got to have my 504 representatives in the background of me while I talk. That's my partner, Jim All Pro. Uh, and my partner, uh, Diesel. Music, Diesel Beats. Diesel makes beats for Lil Wayne. And he created these beats, some of these beats for me in, sp in particular. Because I am somebody with my people from New Orleans. Because he's from New Orleans. And he got three Grammys from Lil Wayne album. And he made these little beats for me to ride off of while I jam to y'all. And Jamal Pro, he was in the damn James Brown movie. He was the house band in James Brown movie. Jam all productions right there on the hell yeah. I hey Tiffany, if y'all know I'm a talk over, I gotta talk over some energy. I gotta talk over some energy. I can't have y'all watching no live where y'all just be sitting there like Yeah, mm -hmm. he talking about something. No, I need to have you and this motherfucker looking like what this thing about to say next, Lord. What is he going to say next? Tom Kent. What's happening, Tom Kent? 
Saints stress you out? Hold on, Tom Kent. Let me see, Tom Kent. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to give you a, a special award today, Tom Kent. Tom Kent, you have what is your old name, Tom Kent? Cause I know you're probably one of my white, one of my white Caucasian brother, uh, Boogie Bro. But you said the Saints stress me out. Come on, I'm gonna talk to you since you wanna talk to me. Come on, Tom Kent, tell me about yourself. Tom Kent, you white, ain't you? You, yeah, I'm pretty sure you white, and if you white, I'm going to tell you, Tom Kent, that's a good Caucasian name. That's from the from the mountains of Secaucus, where you can see Caucasians. That's where that name came from, Tom Kent. Tom Kent, yeah, you definitely a white man. They're going to look at your application, even if you black, and they're going to think you a white dude about to come get this job. And then they gon' you gonna walk in and be black, they gonna be like, oh shit, Tom Kent, I could have swore this dude was gonna be white. That is the good uh Caucasian name of the day, the CNA Award. The Caucasian name of the day award. Is that right, Lake Shay Renee? Because Lake Shay Renee keeps me on point with my grandma. Thank you so much and give and give Tom Kent the trophy for the day for the Caucasian name of the day. Thank you so much for falling on through. I need me to hang with a dude named Tom Kent. Because I that sounds like I'm about to call my attorney on your ass. If, the, if I pulled up by the police, I'm going to say, look, don't make me call Tom Kent. They're going to be like, Tom Kent, oh shit. Tom Kent going to sue shit out of us. Who is Tom Kent? That sound like it's the Caucasian name of the day trophy. The CNA trophy today goes to my fellow Boogie Bro, Tom Kent. All right, Tom Kent. Shout out to my president from Joe Abuku from Nigeria. Don't try to put that Nigerian dick on my vice president now. She don't need to be turned out like that. She don't need none of that, that African men dick or Nigerian dick you got. She don't need it. Joe, find you another, uh, uh, find you another person to put all that damn big old African dick lean on. Ooh, leave my vice president alone. She might not be ready for that type of dick. You don't know what she been doing with her. She ain't in the church. You don't never know what she's doing. I'll come up in there with that. Let me see, uh, Linda Williams. <laughs> hey, Shawana. That's the hell along. Linda Williams. My good friend. That's a good name. I, that's my good friend, Linda Williams. She dropped through. She always dropped through. She's been one of my boogettes for the longest. What is a boogette? That's an upstanding woman of substance and what you call noteworthy vagina. It's something to write home about. Linda Williams is one of my senior, one of my senior boogettes. She done been married for a long time. She a little, you know, she over 60. And she ready to, hey, she done had it all. She done went to the mountaintop, huh? And she white, so I, I need her opinion every day to help me out. I need her to let me know that I'm doing what's, what I'm supposed to be doing on this damn show. If a 60, over 60 year old white woman can understand Boogie Beat, then I'm doing it for the culture. I'm doing it for everybody. No word that vagina is the only type I will accept around me. That means that you got your career together, young lady. That means that you taking care of your little kids. That means that you're putting good cooch on your husband. That means that that cooch is still splendor. That means that it's like a purple pack of Skittles. It'll melt in your mouth, not in your hands. Not that's like a M&M, but uh, it's like a warm, it's like a warm Skittle that's been in your pocket all day. You eat it and it's mm, 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 it's soft and chewy and sweet. Oh man, that's the type of coochie, but not just any old Skittle. That purple pack of Skittles was different. You don't remember that? That purple pack of Skittles did different, didn't it, guy? Come on, guy. You know what I'm talking about. When you first had that one coochie, you were like, damn. What what kind of Skittles is these? These ain't the same. This must be this is the purple pack. Wildberry. Oh shit, they don't even got that little lemon Skittle in there. Oh, they don't got that in there. This pack about to be good. You get in that rarity and you love it. You try to eat yourself into a coma. You, uh, you have to wing yourself off of buying them damn Skittles every time you go to the store. You're always looking for purple pack after you get one. Come on, Kai, you get the goddamn metaphor, I believe. I believe I got you on the track with the type of ladies that come through here that think like Boogie Beat that. Now, it, uh, it take a few. It, uh, it's going to be the few and the proud, I promise you. The few, the proud, the purple pack. It's definitely always going to be a few. It ain't going to never be no time. Because purple pack is a little, it's a little harder to come by. Now, 39 people 
or 100 people in the United States, that's a very small percentage that come to the end. I like it that way. I like all the small percentage of very good women to come and men to come and holla at your boy every day on the Let Me Stretch You Out show five days a week. This, this is just the meet and greet portion of the show. I'm still, yeah, you love the apparel. Okay, thank you for loving the apparel, Tiffy Nippy, my little devil dip. Thank you so much. Gail Carter, what's happening, Gail? You know what, Gail? I'm glad you made it. Because I got to give you a trophy, too, before I run out of time. I need to give you a trophy again, because I know you're the back-to-back -back champion for this one. you one of the back-to-back -back champions of this award that come on a daily basis. So I got to give out, give out five awards five days a week. I got five awards, trophies that I give away, fictitious trophies that I give in the comments for certain people names that come through here. And Gail Carter, let me tell you something, Gail Carter. You got the name of the C S N. You got the C S A C S the senior citizen name of the day. Shit, that's what you got. You got the name that I know for sure that Gail, you are the last of your kind. There will never be a Gail after you. It will probably be one Gail after you, depending on how old you are, but there will not be no newborn Gales in 2022. Well, I know we've seen the last of y'all. Thank you, Gail, for holding that name down for us. We need you, baby. You're going to be a, a historic figure. You as a black history figure, baby, Gail Carter. Everybody going to have a Gail Carter in the history book. It's not going to be too many Gail Carters after you. It might just be one, but I doubt it is even one. You might be the last of the Mohicans. You might be the last of the Mohicans, I believe. You're the last Gail ever produced. Thank you so much, Gail. We need you in our life, and I thank you for accepting your award so gracefully. And I also thank Tom Kent for accepting this Caucasian name of the day award so gracefully. I thank you so much, y'all, too. Now, I'm not, you say, I'm not babysitting no baby James Carter. Yeah, you ain't babysitting. You ain't gonna get no more clients named that, you want to say. In your little daycare business, you ain't gonna get no clients, no newborn, no newborn client. It, it go up. One year old girl just came in. One year old girl. Why did you name that baby girl? You know you the last of the Gales. The last of the Gales was made in 1970, I believe. That's the last hatch of Gales that came out. Gales ain't come out with, with uh, uh, Roshanas. Roshanas came way down the line after Gales. It was no Roshanas when it was Gales. Trust me. And, it, and vice versa. It ain't no Roshanas and Gales. They never grew up together. Ain't no way. This lady named Gail Carter grew up with a girl named Roshana. Oh no, Roshana's ain't come out till 1989, maybe 85-ish. Your name been out. Come on, Ruby Blue, you know I know you too. You know you the back-to-back -back champ of this award as well. I, but I ain't gonna give it to you every day. I'm gonna give it to somebody. I'm gonna try to give it to somebody new every day if I see a name that just jumps out at me. Thank you, Gail Carter. I appreciate you coming. This is the Let Me Stretch You Out show where I will roast somebody on your behalf. If you know somebody who done something wrong to you, you tell Boogie B in the comments. Or you tell Boogie B in my inbox. You don't got you can remain in the anonymity if you want to. Now you ain't gotta tell me who you, you ain't gotta tell me what they name is or what they look like. You just tell me what they did. And my boogettes and my boogie beehive a vouch for the fact that I will be on they ass like they waistline. You understand? Oh yes, I will be on their ass for any or for for any anything they do to my boogettes and my boogie bros. I got y'all back. Trust me. If you want to hear, hear them get roasted for a particular reason, you come on here. I'm the person for to do it. I'm the person for you to bring your troubles to. Bring me your burdens. Bring me your burdens and lay it down. Yeah, hell yeah. I know it's a gospel song like that somewhere. Hey, Shawana Shanks, you know I don't know too much about my, all my gospel. I know 
But I be on something. I be on something, Shawana Shanks. You know, me and you the same, Shawana Shanks. We like to poke on something. Shit, we like to poke it and poke, poke, baby. We, and we like a lick it and lick, lick, too. Hey, we a little different now. Shit, hey, it's different from us. And them, some of them, you know, it's different. No, no, we the same, but we all different. Brandon, Bre Beverly, what's happening, bro? I'm my book it, bro. Came on through. Let me sip me a little tea for, before I get in it, too, too deep in it. Oh, Bernetta, you came back, baby. I'm so glad you made it back, Bernetta and Yvonne. Yvonne Shannon. Erica, why did my former friend sleep with my womanizing nasty former boss after I warned her not to? Now, let me see. My former friend sleep with my womanizing nasty former boss. Mm. I don't see how that's malicious towards you, though. Did she get you fired or something? What did she fuck him and get you fired? What what happened to you? That's them people business. Your former friend can put that coach on whoever she so see fit. It ain't her fault that you don't agree with the person who she shall so see fit to give it to. Now that's just, just don't let me stress you out. Now that, that stay out them folks business. Them folks is grown. It don't matter what you want somebody not to do. If did did nothing didn't happen to you, then that's them folk business. I can't stress them out for that. I know I won't I want to. I want to be I'm on your side. Now I'm on your side. But but we gotta remember to be upstanding women of substance and noteworthy vagina. Good coochie got better things to do than worry about what somebody else coochie doing. Good coochie got better things to do than that. Now I'm just saying, oh hold on. Like, Irania. When Iran, your name came out, let me tell you something, Iran. Where your name from? Your name is not, a, you got the uh, non American name of the day award. That's not American name. We don't know where that came from. Your name got to be, I, I bet y'all I, I know when damn, I bet y'all know around what year they start making Michelle. They've been making Michelle. They start making them bitches back in the probably 19. 60, probably 1961 on forward. They still got baby Michelle coming out. But they don't got no damn Iranians coming out in no damn United States. I'm going to tell you that. You got to know it's not a foreign name. It's a non-American name. It's a non-American name of the day award goes to Irania Milton. Irana Milton. That's too damn long, uh, Lawanda Woods Griffin. We gonna just put non-American award. Just NAA, NAA, like Lake Shea Renee Shea. Lake Shea Renee Shea. Yeah, she get the exotic award. No, cause it ain't necessarily exotic. I changed that from that. I was having it the exotic name, but it ain't that damn exotic. It probably could just be not exotic to the United States, but everywhere else, that's, that's a very common name. So I'm not saying it's an exotic name, but it's definitely not American. So we're going to call it non-American, N-A-A, non-American award. Not, no, okay, not, is that it, Lake Shea Renee, N-A-A or N-A-N? N-A-N, I think it is. N-A-N is non-American name. N-A-N-A. N-A-N-A. I think, I think, I think, um, Nana. The Nana Award. Yeah, I think Lake Shea Renee gave me that one in the email. Thank you so much, Lake Shea Renee. I forgot about it. I should have referred to it in a pamphlet. I should have checked back to your pamphlet that you sent me. It referred to all the acronyms before I got started with this shit again. But yes, we're going to call it the Nana Award. The Nana Award is for the Non-American Name Award. It is the Non-American Name of the Day. Give a trophy to Aranya. Thank you so much, Aranya. Oh, 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 oh. Before I get, keep going. Leticia Washington done came in this bitch. Hey, Leticia Washington, let me tell you something. I got to give you your props now. You know I got to, you a back-to-back -back champion of all awards too. Now, you know I give these awards every day. But you is definitely Leticia Washington, the back-to-back -back champion award winner of the two BPA awards. This is the Two Black Parent Award. Your two black parents, they came together to form you like a Voltron. 
It was no white mixed in your blood. These is two Negro names from the mountains of Negrosis. It's the Negrosis Mountain, where you can see Negrosis grow, where you can see no Negroes grow. Your, your name come from the Negrosis Mountains, not the yeah, that's definitely two, yeah, two, oh, y'all was on my slaves. Both your parents, both your great, great, great grandparents. They would not, not one of them not get, they didn't get water down or nothing in the tray. There's all the way black and they named you something all the way black. When they saw your name on the application, they already knew you were black. They knew Letitia Washington was black. Um, can we get... Leticia Washington to the front, please. Leticia Washington, we're looking for a black woman, probably. Yep, stand on up. Yep, we know it's, it's, we know it's you, Leticia Washington. We ain't have to guess. We ain't ever mistook you from white, and you had to live with that all your life. That's crazy. At least some people could have faked like they was other than African-American descent by their name. But not them, Leticia Washington. Hell no. Nah. Nope, you couldn't even fake it. You try to you try to spice it up any way you want. Call yourself Tisha Washington. They still gonna know. It don't matter what you try to break it down into. They, they gonna know you're black. And you had to deal with that all your life, that discriminatory behavior, and you prospered anyway. And that's why I like you, Letitia Washington. And that's why I'm awarding you with the two black parent name of the day trophy. Now, we've given out all our trophies of the day, and I think this has fully been recognized because the meeting greet portion is over. Now, if I don't get no, let me see what happened with my little stress out. Shawana, okay, let me see what Shawana talking about. Let me see. Oh, oh, oh. One of my associates took pictures of gas prices and put it on Facebook. And she said, this is to all y'all Biden supporters and said, now I hope you guys can afford uh, to make your shitty jobs. Um, hold on, let me read it again out loud. One of my associates took a picture of gas prices and put it on Facebook and said, this is to all you Joe Biden supporters. She said, now I hope you can afford to make it to your shitty job. So what, did the gas prices go down? Ooh, did, oh, they, they, did they go up or what did the prices do? Why we got to go back to our shitty jobs? What's this animosity about? What's this? Uh, what's what, what, what's this? Donald Trump supporter uh, talking about today? Come on, you know I'm always ready to get up on a uh, Donald Trump supporter ass. Oh, Shawana Shanks, keep on putting something in there. Give me a little more of it. She just got mad at us. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, Shawana Shanks, put some more in there. Let me come on and get in that ass right quick. Let me get in it. Let me get in it like 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 Shawana Shanks be putting them damn dildos on these ladies. Let me get in it. Hey, Connie Faith. Letitia, thank you for accepting your award so gracefully. Hell no, nah, gas went up. What the fuck is she talking about if gas went up? She said, I hope y'all can make it to your shitty job. Now that Trump is gone, the gas prices is up. And it's your fault because you voted for Joe Biden. Let me tell you something. Come on, wait, let me just get a little bit more. Let me see. She said she hope we cannot uh, we cannot afford to make it to our shitty jobs. Not. She hoped that the gas go up so high that we can't that we lose our employment. Like we got something to do with the gas prices. Oh my God, Trump supporters, they never know what they are talking about. They are the most ill-factual motherfuckers I've ever seen in my life. I can't stand nothing more than an ill-factual, overweight, greasy, pig neck, hog mug, bottom chin having bitch. Oh, I can't stand one of them old, I can tell she overweight. Now, I ain't got nothing to give for nobody over no weight. But when you overweight and you mean-spirited like that, when that coochie is sauerkraut like that, oh, you know, I'm going to have to call you a hell my bottom neck having bitch. I have to call you that now because there's no other way. Why would you say this at my damn book at job? She just trying to go make her look money. Hey, her fault. Donald Trump wasn't shit. She had to try to vote him out of there because the nigga was lying too much. 
Now you want me to all get fired. You want me to lose my job because the gas price is going up. Oh, my God. Oh, woo. It's just like that lady who talked about Michelle Obama. Talking about she looked like the gorilla on the gorilla glue bottle. Bitch, you look like the you look like the gorilla in the midst. You look like the gorilla of the sea. You look like the gorilla of the jungle. Bitch, you look like George of the jungle. You look like a pale. You look like a, a pale hippopotamus gorilla, bitch. You are a hippo gorilla. You a hippo ape. You ain't no way in hell you gonna sit up there and talk about Michelle Obama. This lady is over 50 years old, damn near probably 60, and looking good and in shape and face and body still tight and hair still thick and lustrous and skin still popping and your overweight, heavy neck ass wanna try to dog somebody out. Oh, I can't stand a Trump supporter. That goes for you too, gas price poster. Gas price poster, come here, let me stress you out right fast. Because your little stanky dog ass trying to wish the whole world bad because of you didn't get your way with Donald Trump. Oh my God. Did you did you give Donald Trump some of that coochie yet? You know he deserved it by now. You should go break up with your husband and go ahead and give Donald Trump some of that coochie if you're gonna be acting like this over this nigga. Because I done put plenty good dick on pl on plenty of women. And I've never had nobody go to bat like for me. Like y'all who have no have not even seen Donald Trump in real life. Y'all go harder for him than anybody. You go harder for him than you do at the gym. Well, if you go harder, if you go harder at the gym than you do for Donald Trump, then maybe you wouldn't be a Trump supporter and you wouldn't be looking like that. And that coochie wouldn't be sour corn, sour cream and onion, sour kraut, sour, sour mustard, onion, chili, gelato as sour spurl milk as coochie. That's what your ass get. You you let that coochie fester in your spirit and it fucked all your energy up. And now you look unappealing, your coochie's unappealing, and you're out here trying to ruin everybody else's life. This is the Let Me Stretch You Out show. This is what it's for. Come to me. Bring me your burden. Somebody take a picture of some gas prices on Facebook and try to talk shit about because we got Joe Biden in there. Come on, tell me. I don't know who it is. I don't have to know them. I know what they look like via my experience with people who say shit like that. I know exactly what they look like, so and I ain't got to guess shit. I, come on, so and I done showed you pictures of them. The ones who act like this, I could tell you. And I done seen, I done seen plenty of sour coochie in my day. Y'all ain't never seen it because you've been a woman all your life and you had a, a decent coochie on you all your life. Even when you was in your bad times, your coochie wasn't sour. But it, I done had some women that had that old sour mustard green coochie. And that that neck, that energy should have told me that the coochie wasn't shit. I knew I was getting a bad vibe from her the whole damn time. I fucked her anyway. And it turned out that coochie was awful because that energy was awful. I said, damn, I should have knew that. Now I know when that energy is awful like that, that coochie is subpar for sure. Oh, it's a it's a hippo rilla. You got them right. A hippo rilla looking bitch trying to talk about trying to talk about some damn gas prices them because of hope you can't make it to your shitty jobs. Bitch, where you work at? Where do you work at? Dorita, you better talk to her before I have to get her. You better talk to her before you better talk to Facebook poster. I mean Facebook gas poster. Let me tell y'all something. This is the Let Me Stress You Out show. We ain't even got into no subject or mission. What happened was somebody needed a good stressing just now. And Shawana Shanks told me about it. And you know how I ride for Shawana Shanks and her old lady. You know Shawana and what's her name? What's Shawana old lady name? I don't forgot. Shawana and her old lady be watching this shit all the time. And if somebody doing something they feel like... And if it, that you said that's exactly what happened, Shawana Shanks. Okay, good. I'm glad I got it right. Did she deserve for me to call her a hippo gorilla? That's a hippo and a gorilla mix. She tried to call somebody a a gorilla Google glue gorilla, and I call her a gorilla in the midst. Uh, Romisha. Yeah, energy off that coochie off, and she trying to ruin our ruin our days at our workplace. That's what she set out as a mission to do. And guess what I came to do? Stress out right fast. 
I had no choice. I'm sorry. I wasted up half the damn show. But this is what the show is about. If I feel it on my spirit, I gotta say it. Come on, uh. Yeah, that's a hippo and a gorilla. That's a hippo gorilla. She an albino hippo gorilla. Have you ever heard of an albino hippo gorilla? That's a, a albino hippo and a gorilla mix. And she tried to talk about posting a picture of the gas prices, talking about all oh, you Biden supporters. I hope you can make it to your shitty jobs. That's what she tried to tell tell us because we voted for Joe Biden and to get Donald Trump old stinking ass out of albino hippo gorilla looking bitch. Nah, I said it. You said I did now? Yeah, I, yeah, I bet you heard of it now. Now we got something to call them. Now don't say, somebody gonna try to steal that and I want y'all to steal, I want y'all to put a little rolls next to it and somebody else say it. Hipparilla is my shit. I made that up just now right here live on the 2021, what the day is? What is the date on today? Today is February the 25th, 2021. But if he just was the first person that ever called somebody an uh, albino hippo gorilla looking bitch, then they could be duly noted. Thank you, Dorita. You know how I talk to him. Now, I'm going to say it different if it is different. I promise. So, so if I mean it the same as what you're thinking, I'll just say it the same as what you're thinking. But if I mean it different, I'm going to say it different. And I always mean it different. I always mean it different. That's why you come here. I'd rather vote for a Joe Biden than a Donald Duck Trump. Duck ass Trump any day. I hope, I'm glad. I'm just glad. I don't know what's going on. I'm glad he got. I don't know what's going to happen to him now, but I hate that he started this uprising of bullshit. I would have never had to call nobody a hip or real up before. When when Barack when Barack Obama was in there, I ain't had no reason to call nobody no albino hippo gorilla looking bitch. I never had a reason to do that when Barack was in there. This wasn't that type of world. This was a decent type of world. Well, I ain't have to do this. Now ever since Donald Trump been in there, I got to call people all kind of shit to represent what they acting like. Ugh. I can't stand them. Come on, Marie Zool, man. It's time for the Let Me Stress You Out show, portion of the show where I like to bring y'all an issue that somebody brought me for y'all to solve. We're going to have to do it in 30 minutes, babies, because we ain't got much time left on the show, but y'all know I like to get my bitch stress out off every once in a while, especially when I get a good reason. Thank you so much, Shawana Shane. And thank you for getting that cash out too, Shawana Shane. Just a couple of y'all. Let me check. Let me check and shot some people out in the middle of the show while it's still hot. Let me let you know what you did with what you did good with your with your career in your life. Let me let you know that you did good. My cousin hit me off with a little stuff. My cousin Eddie Montreal. What's that, Eddie? Appreciate you. Thank you so much, Joe Setter. Hey, you get that cash out like you were supposed to. And Lake Shay Renee, you always do. This is your usual contribution. You know. Uh, D'Amico Robinson, I so appreciate you. And you lend us. How? And, and, and Maria Antoinette and Shaquina. And Marion Cash. I appreciate all y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming to the Let Me Stress You Out show and donating and sowing your seed into the church of Boogie Bee. This is the Let Me Stress You Out show, uh, Church of God in Christ. It's the, let me, it's the, it's the, uh, it's the Church of Let Me Stress You Out in Christ and Boogie Bee. I'm pastored by comedian Boogie Bee, a.k.a. the Lord Noah Cuss. Yes, Yolanda, let's get it on out the way. Lake Shay Renee, thank you so much. Oh, they finally put my top boogie badge over my vice president head. And Lake Shay Renee. Yeah, I see y'all. They don't they don't start changing this algorithm up. Amy Ross with the sauce. Oh my okay, Brandon Beverly got one of my top boogie pro badges over his head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ashley Carter, yeah, okay. A couple of y'all got these badges. I see that. It's a little faded. That's all I usually can't see it. Lawanda Woods Griffin, you've been had it for a minute. They be taking it, they putting it back. But if you get it, it's always a blessing. But most of y'all, I know y'all here every day. And you got your own personal top boogie badge from Boogie B. From the church of uh, Let Me Stretch You Out in Christ. Pastor by Boogie B. A.K.A. the Lord Know You Cuss. They gonna take it back. 
they ain't, they gonna take it back, but they look long. You got it when you got it, and enjoy. It. Let's recognize it. The beloved Davida, what's up, baby girl? Listen, let me tell y'all what my boogie bro inboxed me though. This shit getting real now. Hold up, let me tell y'all what just happened. My nigga inboxed me and said, Boogie B, I want you to ask your Boogie B how what to do in this situation. I'm walking to my lady house. We done been together for about a year and a half. I'm going, no, we done been together. I, I don't think he said a year and a half. It's been about probably about eight months. About eight months they've been together, right? They don't live together, but they fucking on a the regular. They together, they together. She got a kid. She got a son for some dude, right? She, he comes over, to, he's going over to her house one day. An afternoon day, a Saturday, sunny Saturday afternoon. He's skipping the do dying over to his girl house. <laughs> Why not? This nigga coming over there with the skimming it, do die. Nigga got his car washed clean. He done put the spray on to smell good. He done rubbed his goddamn palms together to rub the cologne into his temples. This nigga done spray cologne all over his dingling and balls, everything. Nigga come over there with a fresh haircut, fresh wash car. What a little, uh, look, a uh, six rose little jump. He have a whole dozen of roses. He has six roses in that little, in that little skinny vase. You know how they got them little skinny vases? That nigga had a skinny vase. This nigga skipping the do die to the goddamn house. When I tell you a nigga walked out of that house at two, uh, two uh, in the after early afternoon, in the early afternoon. This nigga come out the house with a flip flop on and some basketball shorts and a book bag on his back. This nigga come out, this bitch talking about, thank you, brother, how you doing? Yeah. Nigga just kept walking. What's up, nigga? Kept on walking. Yeah. Thank you, brother, how you doing? Did you drop something off? Did you deliver something? What the hell this nigga coming out the house for? It turns out that that is the baby daddy. That's the little boy daddy. He come over there and visit with his son all the time. And he be in the house. He be in the house. He do in home business. Teresa Davis, touchdown. You're late, but you're right on time for this rhyme. All I did was a stress out earlier. So you got to go back and watch the beginning of the show now. But we just got into the topic. What? Not even a topic. This my boogie bro. Inbox me that he walked into his old lady house and a dude walked out. And, and she said, that's just her baby daddy. She came to the goddamn door with a robe on. With a goddamn shower cap on. She came with the, uh, with the damn, she came out there with the shower cap looking like the damn, uh, uh, she came out with the shower cap looking like, uh, Ricky and Doughboy Mama came out in Boys in the Hood. <laughs> Get the fuck out my yard with all that shit. You remember that, uh, the lady? She came out there with that big old pink robe on. She had the cigarette. She had the shower bag on her head. She was like, go get me some cornmeal from the from the corn to stuff. You remember she said that on Boys in the Hood? I don't know if y'all saw Boys in the Hood. But this girl came out the house looking like that on my nigga. He walked up there clean as a, as a Russian whistle. He clean as a donkey dog dick. He clean as a whistle. He clean as a, a whip. Oh, he clean. This nigga skipping and do dies up to the goddamn house. And this nigga came out the house with a book bag on and a basketball shorts and a flip flops with no socks. This nigga done came out looking like he just fucked the shit out of somebody. This nigga had the I just fucked the shit out of somebody ensemble on. <laughs> the basketball shorts with no with the with the Nike socks with a backpack on. That nigga just Woo! That nigga got an ensemble of somebody who just dropped some dick off. Oh, and he just left my lady house, and I've been loving on this girl for eight months. We about to be a year. Oh, my gosh. If you, she want me to be with her, she want me to live with her. Oh, Lord, this thing just came out of there with my bitch. Oh, my God. Ooh, wee, what should I do? What should I do? My boogie bro want to know what should he do? Little Wilder Woods Griffin. Should he immediately go in there on swing, on attack? Should he go in there and play it cool because the nigga was handsome? The nigga was handsome now. He couldn't deny that nigga was handsome. That nigga came from now. That bitch looking like, damn. Uh, what's up, brother? Uh, shit. Yeah, hey, what's happening? Well, shit. Shit, we both good looking then. Shit, hell no. Hey, that nigga came out look. Hey, son the Leo. That's baby daddy, too. Baby daddy been up in the goddamn crib for who knows how long. This nigga just, it's 2 p.m. This nigga coming out at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. This nigga's leaving. 
This nigga hasn't just arrived at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. This nigga is on his way out. What, what, how long was he in this bitch? What, 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 did he just stop by? Why the nigga brought the book sack in there? Why this nigga don't, why this nigga got on uh, basketball shorts with a thing lane swing? Oh, hell no. Why you, this nigga, I can see his bird moving in the damn basketball. Hell no. This nigga just looked like he took something out of somebody. Nope, what you say? This nigga was over here to visit his little boy. Why he ain't take that little boy with him? Why they ain't go nowhere? Why they ain't go hang out? What, what, what they was, um, they been in here? They, what they was in the room? Where they was at? Were they in the living room? What they was, what they was playing with trucks or something? This ain't feeling right to my boogie bro is what he said. That's what I'm trying to indicate to y'all. My boogie bro said, oh shit. Oh boy, need to pack his bags. Oh, you think he done? Oh shit. Oh, adding the Lord, you think my boogie bro done got cheated on by the baby daddy? But the baby mama was in there like nothing. Like, no, what? He come over here all the time. He just be in, they go in the room, I go in my room, I go lay down, he go in there and play with his son, and then whenever he get ready to leave, he just go on and leave. And, uh, boy, 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 boy. So whenever he get ready to leave, he just go on and leave. So how long would you say about how many a minutes or whatever? How many about if if you had a guess of me? How long you say from oh, from open door to closed door? What how long even if you is in a room? About how many hours do you think he said he'd be over there? Oh, about probably you know he could be any amount of time. It could be five hours. It could be two hours. It could be thirty minutes. It could be you know two nights. It could be anything. Two nights. Wait a minute. Rewind. What the fuck? Wait. <laughs> you said something like you said two nights. The nigga done been over here. I mean, no, he ain't did that in a minute. But, you know, sometimes he just go in there and play with his son and fall asleep. And then he'll get up in the morning and he don't go on to work. Uh-huh. My boogie broke confused. And he just chilling in there. Now he, he done got the, now the first one that went by. He in the house chilling with her. The nigga walks in and walk upstairs. Hey, Amy Rose, hold up. Amy Rose, my partner in there kicking it one day with the with the girls. They watching TV. He playing with her coochie a little bit. She got some little bit of shorts on with a little tank top. We just on the couch kicking it. All of a sudden, this nigga just open the door and go upstairs. He, 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 just, he just open the door and say, what's up, y'all? Nigga say, what's up, y'all? Like, he know me. Oh, uh, this nigga walked upstairs. And like he was in a hurry, then came do what he came to do. And, if he, and do you know that nigga never came back downstairs? This nigga was in there. This nigga was in there. That nigga was in the crib with me. I'm in the crib. He in the crib. He in the room with the little boy. I'm in the room with his mama. I'm uncomfortable like a motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. I'm uncomfortable if I'm you, my boogie bro. I can see why you could say that you could be uncomfortable in this type of situation. Out of pocket behavior, Adam Lloyd, he's too comfortable. Yeah, well, let me go back and see what y'all been saying. Nope, they slinging together. She's shower, she's in the shower. He's in slipper and short. Yeah, this shit is weird. Yeah, she's getting a little hunchable. It's a little hunchable going on in there. Cause he's too comfortable, so it's a little too hunchable. If you're comfortable, you're gonna get hunchable. Yeah, that's the root, that's the root. If you're comfortable, you're gonna get hunchable. That means if you get too relaxed, you able to be hunched on. I don't care who in the house with you, if you're too comfortable, you're gonna, you're gonna become hunchable. Don't, don't, don't get too comfortable and be, become hunchable around another nigga. That's just theory. She a woman who know how to play the game cool as a cucumber. Lake, Lake Shay Renee saying, okay, Lake Shay Renee, she was cool as a cucumber, but this shit, what should my boogie bro do? Yeah, this shit seemed very suspicious for Bobby Wood Griffin. Cheated on, that's not, that's too much. Baby daddy can't do visits at my house. So do anybody do in home visits? You do you, when your baby daddy has no more, come over, do he play with you? With your daughter in the house, with your man, or in the house, or he got a bigger daughter up and go. He got that exercise done with her, Maria Davis said, okay. 
She has much game, you learn to say. Yeah, she might. If I was him, I wouldn't even have gone inside. Yeah, if I was that nigga, I probably would have just turned back. I probably would have turned back and got in the car with that nigga. I ain't about to walk in there and confront you on this situation. Now, I just see this nigga coming out the house, looking like he just swung dick, and a nigga more handsome than me. Nah, no, I'm up. No. You know what? Fuck it. I'm, you know what? What's, what's up? Text me, Mac, know your shade number right fast. Somebody text me, Mac, know your shade number right fast. I'm not about to go up in here and have to deal with this shit. Mac, know your shade need a good man. Who is gonna bring her a six card or a, a six stem, a six stem vase full of roses? I was, br- I wasn't bringing the twelve, but I was bringing the six, bitch. And I, in Mac, know your shade would love to have six. While you up here fucking around with your baby daddy and let him bust out the house with a dingling and swinging. Hell no. Ah, this shit done got way past what we'll boogie be do now. It's way past time for what boogie be would do now. I'm not about to go up in this house with you and argue with you about this nigga. I'm not. And if you defend them, I'm I, I, I'm not going to believe it. I ain't going to believe it no way. Tiffy, dip, ain't no way. Ain't nothing you can tell me that told me that this nigga didn't put dick on you over here in this little two hour, or ten hour period he's been over here. That nigga's handsome, first off. You ain't you fucked him before, and you got a baby by And you got, and you got a key to your place. This nigga's definitely putting something on you that you ain't telling me about, for sure. They yell with a D from the UK. I don't know how y'all roll in the United Kingdom. But if, I, if I'm at your house, your baby daddy cannot come to your house. Period. He can stop by in the car, and he just... <laughs> If he get out, tell him don't cut the call. He ain't getting in. He ain't coming in. Hey, whatever, whatever Magnolia Shade number is, I will find it. If you if you put me in this conundrum where this handsome nigga's walking out of my lady's house and in the afternoon hours of a Saturday. Oh no. Oh no. You put me in this canoe canoodle of a conundrum, and I promise you, this shit ain't gonna go well. I'm not even gonna go in there. Fuck that. I'm turning around. I'm gonna call Mac No You Shay on the speed dial. Cause guess what? I ain't gotta put up with this shit. Hey, I don't get seven, 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 ninety-three, eleven. Y'all remember that? Seven, 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 ninety-three, eleven. Call Mac No You Shay on your stinking ass. It's a Mac No You Shay near you. Just put your error code behind it. Wherever error code you're looking for, the person is. 777 Mac No You Shay is on the way if you get played like this. Because if I'm walking out that house, Boogie Bro, and I see a nigga leaving out my girl house who I done been with for eight months, loving on, living on, I like a little boy. Me and a little boy, cool. And me and her getting on that level now. We going on that level. She about to give me the key and everything. You know what I mean? And then I'm walking up. And I see this nigga walking out. Looking like scratching his damn scratching his damn scalp and shit. This nigga come out scratching like he... Ah, shit. What's up, nigga? He's like, oh, what's up, nigga? Who is that nigga? That's your baby daddy, the one you been telling me about. Shit, you th- why you ain't telling me the nigga was 6'8? Why this nigga 6'8? Who this nigga tall to? He come out this bitch looking like he just slung dick. Is the nigga in the NBA or something? That's, you, that's how you making your living. What the fuck is going on in this bitch? I'm not even, if I go in there, this is the conversation. I'm, I'm If I go in there, because I probably won't even go in there, Dawn. I really, probably, most likely. Gonna just get back in the car and call Mac Know Your Shade. But if I do go in there, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an uncomfortable conversation being had. I promise you. I'm gonna ask everything I can ask, and I'm gonna go talk to the baby. I'm going in there with the little boy. Hey, that was your daddy. That was your daddy. Yo, okay. He tall, ain't he? Ah, yeah, he sure is. Uh, y'all was over here all night. Where, where he slept at? He slept in here. 
But you woke up and you say he was where? Oh, he was in your mommy room. Oh. You are uh, your little. I, 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 what's up, little boy? <laughs> well, the partner, man, I like you, man. So you want? I'm gonna get you a new game. What new game you want? I'm gonna get you a new game for your little PS5 or whatever. I'm gonna get you a little something. Hey, uh, he gonna be like, thank you. I want it. Hey, uh, hell yeah, Petty.com, Petty Eddie King Jr. Ring, Petty Eddie King Jr., baby, Petty Eddie King. The whole world of ass straight for Eddie King. <laughs> Y'all remember Eddie King was smoking that cocaine, fucking the, fucking the group up? <laughs> that nigga said a whole world of ass straight for Eddie King. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that nigga was petty as hell, boy. Don't get no more petty than Eddie Kane Jr. Y'all need to do do your own work and go watch Five Hearts before you ever start fucking with Boogie B again. He probably don't even pay child support. Hell no, the nigga spending time over here. He ain't paying no damn child support. Why the nigga look damn look look like he live over here? The nigga just came over here with a damn with a damn put dick on ensemble. Ah, this nigga comfortable. He ain't paying no child support. Child support niggas come over there with slacks on. Nigga come over there with slacks and a goddamn textbook. Nigga come over there with a briefcase full of documentation. This nigga don't want no parts of this bullshit, y'all. Hey, all she can tell me is that it's his house. Listen, it ain't his house, but my boogie bro is in the conundrum where this is basically... You know, he be there all the time. He ain't never seen a nigga just pop in like this before. But the nigga just popped in. He just walked, just coming out. Usually he had just left or he can't, you know, he can't stop by or he did something. Like she would never tell my boogie bro what all, you know, she would just be like, oh, my baby daddy just left. Oh, my baby daddy just left. Oh, my baby daddy just picked up. I'm thinking left, meaning that he came and stopped by, picked the kid up and left. But the kid's still there. She like, he just left. I'm like, just left? Ah, uh, just left. My kid's still in there. Just left. Did he just drop him back off? What, 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 what? No, I ain't understanding. But I never did pay no mind because I love the girl. Girl, good girl, good coochie, good person, good personality. She would never. I don't think she would never. So Tiffany Liffy, he allowed us to do it. And and when the nigga walked out, he went in there and he questioned her and she said, whatever, I guess. And then, I mean, but it still don't sit right with him. And then he in there watching TV with her and the nigga just busts in and go upstairs. What the fuck is going on? Nah, this nigga damn just busting in going upstairs. Then he came in with another nigga. Another nigga came in from the downstairs and just hung down there. He just stood in the living room with us. Like, what the fuck is, who is this nigga? Uh, I said, what's up, brother? He was like, what's happening? I'm like, what's up, brother? What's happening? I'm like, uh, I'm Boogie B. He like, Kareem. I'm like, what's up, Kareem? You just chilling in here? Hell yeah, yeah, we just fucking around, smoke a couple blunts. Uh, <laughs> what y'all about to go do? I mean, shit, I don't know. I'm about to drop him off here. You, you about to drop him off here? In this house? The house where I'm already in here? Watch the TV with my with my woman? You about to drop you about to drop baby daddy off over here? Oh, okay, Kareem, you a cool nigga. You always drop people off. Yeah, hell yeah, because they be just niggas that be need rides in the hood, you dig? You know, I take care of all my niggas, you dig? My, my, my nigga say he won't see his little seed or whatever you did. So I said... I said, I'll drop y'all at your baby mama house right now, nigga. You ain't said nothing, nigga. Gas ain't shit to me, G. I got you, nigga. Drop, nigga. I'm dropping them all over here, you hear me? I'm about to go smoke a little or something in the car now. You like, ooh. Now I really don't want no problems with baby daddy and this nigga upstairs. Because I get the indication from Kareem that these niggas ain't living an upstanding life. I don't feel like from the companies that he keeps that I should go in there and say shit to this man. Bro needs to forget about her. Oh, 
shit, but she trying to make him comfortable with it. She like, I don't like him. Like, he just, ah, he get on my nerves, all this shit. She is totally against it. She's trying to sway my man because she love him. And he love her. And she like, if you love me, you know, let's work through. You know, let's play. I'm like, damn. She wants, she wants you to stay. But she would like her baby dad in Detroit sending out of the house on, on his, on, at his leisure. Whew. It's going to be tough for me. It's going to be definitely tough for me. I'm, I ain't staying in that house with no other nigga. Hell no, I don't care who it is. I, I don't. You know what? I got a house. I'm going to come to my shit. You leave your kid in and let that nigga come babysit. Don't, hey, come over to my shit. And, 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 hey, let that nigga, let's break this shit up. This shit is uncalled for. This shit is uncomfortable and uncalled for. Nah, she ain't against it. She got the best of both worlds. She's playing, dude. Oh, wow. Don't do my boogie, bro, like that. And the Lord, sometimes you be coming too real with the Jordan Wilder forehead. God damn, Jordan Wilder forehead ass. What you been coming in on that real? Tell my boy he getting played like that, boy. Woo. I am looking for a new love, baby. A new love forehead ass. God damn, at the Lord. Uh, Kim Crosby. Oh, I can't Kim. What's that? Oh, uh, ain't shit. Just chilling. You late, but you right on time for the drive. You can come over to Instagram if you want. I'm about to double dip it and do it again on IG. And you're welcome to come over there and hang out again for the hour that I'm going to be over there. Why let's say pull of her on her? My man's ain't got no kids, though. He helped her raise her little seat. He in the house with her little seat. Did he love the girl. Hey. Hey, he love the girl. He ain't trying to move on. Look. <laughs> he sure is looking for a new love. You got the hell right, Adam Lloyd. Oh, funny ass, cool ass, Adam Lloyd. I, I really name your lot of y'all. Anyway, Denise Williams, what's happening? Gail Carter, let me tell you something. Ain't no way. You have an in-home visit, and I'm your old man. Yo, oh, you got to tell that nigga you gonna drop your son off at the stop sign. Pick that nigga up from the stop sign. He five. He'll be all right. Tell him I can see. I can see you. Long as I can see you, keep going. Keep going. Stop right there. Hang right there. Your daddy gonna pick you up from right there. Me and Boogie gonna be right here kissing. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. No, don't look back at us. Keep going, little boy. Go ahead. It's fine. He, your daddy gonna be right there on the corner. Boogie B say he don't want him coming this close to the house. Yeah, Boogie B putting a whole lot of good things on, man. He don't want nobody coming this close to the house. So go down to the stop sign and stop when I tell you stop here. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Okay, Boogie B say that's far enough. Stop right there. Your daddy gonna be right there. He gonna pick you up. Don't worry about it. Boogie B don't lie, nigga. Just close to the house. Especially not handsome niggas like this nigga. Hell no. Nope. Stay right there. He'll be right there. Don't move. Don't go in that street. I'm gonna beat your ass. Don't go in that street. Hang right there by that stop sign. Come on, Boogie. Hey, I ain't no nigga gonna play me like that, that year with the D. I don't roll like that. Hell no. I wish you would. I wish you would have a nigga having an in-house business, even if it's a woman. If a man having an in-house business with this woman over your house, as a lawyer, if you dating a man this particular time, because you know you're, sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. But this particular time you dating a man and he, his baby mama coming over there, he the single father, and the baby mama coming over there to stay in the house and play with the kid with you. Listen, that no lawyer, you better nick that shit in the bud. You better nick that shit in the buds. We going over to IG, y'all. Thank you, Adam Lloyd. Thank you, Amy Ross with the sauce. Thank you all my book ads and my bookie pros. Thank you so much, Tiffany Nippy Dukes. Thank you so much, Danielle with the D. Thank you so much, Chandra Wright. Thank you so much to all my trophy winners. Thank you so much, Josetta and Gail. Thank you so much, Miss Nett Simmons. Thank you so much, Ryan Nett and Teresa Davis. Yes, indeed. 
Take send that little nigga to the stop sign to come pick him up. She playing two positions, the catcher and the receiver. Thank you, Brandon Beverly, for coming on through for me, Boogie Bro. I'm going to IG. I got to go, y'all.